Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. Listen, uh, I just had an article dropped on me yesterday that just, I, I don't even know what to say about this. So, look, I'll let you draw your own conclusions, but look, let me just also preface this to say, uh, I don't know if you're, you're new to the channel, but uh, just so you understand, you know, I live in Australia, not in America. It's long story how I got here, uh, but this is something that actually could affect me very, very soon. And uh, eventually it will possibly affect not only people in the United States, but globally for that matter. So let me just jump right to the, uh, the article because this is, this is something. Uh, the headline says, Australian bank will end loans for new gas and diesel cars in a shift to electric vehicles. So, yeah, um, most of you have probably kind of over the years kind of looked at these electric vehicles. Maybe you've thought about them. I've got my own thoughts about them. Uh, this gentleman who is a representative of the, this bank, he goes on to say, we think that the responsible thing for us to do next is to ensure that our vehicle lending doesn't lock our customers in to higher carbon emissions and increasingly expensive running costs in the years ahead. Oh, how nice of you to actually do that for me. Thank you. He goes on to say, ultimately, our announcement today is the beginning of a conversation with our customers and a signal to the wider market. Uh, is it really a conversation? No, I think you're just kind of thrusting your authority on uh, the public here, and we don't get a choice in the matter. Um, eventually, that's where all this is going to go. And, and look, I think somebody in this particular article, and I'll leave this below, uh, which, by the way, this was from Fox News, but somebody smartly uh, made a comment in the article, and they say, unfortunately, one thing Australians are decades ahead of here, uh, of us here in the United States, is giving up their freedoms. And they're right. Folks, I have actually been in Australia now for uh, over 13 years. I can't believe that myself as I say it. But it's true. Many people here in Australia have, I watched this through the whole COVID thing, where people just they willingly gave their, their freedoms away, expecting that they're going to get them back. Did they? Of course not. Or there's some sort of restraint on how it, you know, this is the new normal, folks. The problem is this is the whole frog in the in the in the pot of boiling water issue right here before you know next thing you know if you don't fight back and say no to this kind of garbage before you know it your freedoms your freedom of choice all of this poof gone and that's the whole idea of the agenda that has been pushed through all of this you've got to start saying no you've got to say i'm not going to do this anymore and how you go about doing that is at least in this particular case Take all your money out of that bank. Go with someone else. Find alternative ways to work around this. Pay for your cars with cash. Ultimately, I know that can be very hard for some people, but folks, this is the kind of lunacy that if you aren't saying that the emperor has no clothes, this is the kind of lunacy that's going to get out of control. Just start saying no. Fight this. Be done with it. I'm out. Folks, that's my word for today. I hope this uh, I hope this helped. I hope it was amazing. Maybe if you have uh, other uh, articles about this, uh, put them in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. This is just Australia. Eventually, it's coming to a town or a city near you. So mm, I don't know what more to say about that. But uh, folks, have a great day. I'd love to see your likes and your comments and all of this. I, I appreciate it so much.